Hi, today we are going to learn second normal form. A relation is in second normal form if it, it is already in first normal form. Then you can convert a particular table into second normal form. It is like this, that first normal form if there is another relation which is in second normal form it should always already be in first normal form similarly there is third normal form 3nf so if relation is in 3nf it is already in 2nf and first nf first point it, it should be in first normal form second non prime attributes are fully functional dependent of any candidate key in relation R. If there is a relation R, so non prime attribute should be fully functional dependent of any candidate key. What is meaning of fully functional dependent? Fully functional dependent means if AD derive B, so B is fully functional dependent on AD if any proper subset of AD does not derive B. B cannot be determined by proper subset of AD. It means there should not be a relation like this. D determine B. It should not be there. Because D is a proper subset of AD. So, if this type of relation exists and subset of left side does not determine right side, then it is fully functional dependent. There is algorithm for 2NF. If R is a relation schema and F is in functional dependence and proper subset of key determine proper subset of key of relation R determines non-prime attribute in F plus mean F closer mean there is a F functional dependency and you would find some F closer through Armstrong axioms then that functional dependency would not be in 2NF oh, it's a little complicated let me make it so easy if there is a relation R and it has a four attributes A, B, C, D and some functional dependency is there F A, B, C is a key it means A, B, C are prime attributes and D is non-prime. And A, B, C combinedly a key, there should not be B, C determine D in F or F plus. In that situation, it would be in 2NF. So this situation should not be there. Let's take example. If R is a relation over X, Y, Z, W and K attributes and the functional dependency is X, Y, W determines Z. Y, Z determines W and Z, W determines K. Check where it is in 2NF or not. Okay, first we have to find key. For the key, there is a method L, L plus R. So what are attributes in only left? X and uh, Y. W is in left, here it is in right. Z here in right, here is in left. And uh, K is only in right. So K would not be a part of key, X, Y and com or X, Y combined with W and Z could be a part of key. X, Y closer from reflexivity determines X, Y. From this functional dependency, we can't find anything else. Now we are going to combine X, Y with W or Z. So X, Y, W closer reflexivity X, Y, W. Now X, Y, W determines Z. 
and uh, y z determined w already there z w z w determined k so k could be nil now this determines all the attributes of functional dependency so this would be a key let's check another x y z so x y z determines x y z and y z determine w and z w determine, w determine k so this is also a key so two keys are there candidate keys x y z w and x y z so subset of these keys should not determine non prime attributes if we check k k is a non prime attribute it is not part of k so k is determined by z w okay and z w separately is not part of k but y z is a subset of k if we take y z closer what we will find w and z w determine k it means y z can determine k in f plus if we, we will find f plus the y z can determine k using rules so this functional dependency is not in 2 nf if one rule fail it mean complete functional dependency is not in 2 nf there is one note is there if r has a key with one attribute only always in 2 nf for example if r has a b c and a determine b and b determine c in f it mean a closer can determine a b c a determine b a b determine c so a b c so a is a key so a has only one attribute so non prime attribute b and c b and c are non prime attributes and c is determined by b which is not a subset of a so you can't find this proper subset of a that's why this relation will always be in 2 nf so this is the method for 2 nf okay thank you